folks, uh, Jabs here again, um, uh, with uh, a uh, tobacco review for a change. Um, so, um, yes, I've got uh, the tobacco in question is uh, loaded and uh, well underway. My, uh, this is a, uh, a Bacon Brothers of Cambridge billiard, which uh, is a recent acquisition that uh, I shall uh, show you in more detail in another another video. Um, that's coming up soon. But uh, staying on topic, we have um, a new tobacco to me, and uh, very recently purchased. Uh, this is my. Um, a third bowl, um, and uh, it's turning out to be fairly enjoyable. Which will, which uh, for some reasons, for obvious reasons that I'll go into later, will be somewhat of a surprise to some, I would imagine. So. The uh, tobacco in question, Bayside mixed. Now, this um, I happened upon um, as I uh, was buying my usual um, pouch of St Bruno from our local ASDA supermarket. And they have uh, a great big list. As obviously, you're not allowed to see the things anymore. Big, big list of um, what they sell behind the behind the counter there. And uh, amongst them was um, this Bayside mix blend. Um, and I essentially bought it. I knew nothing about it. And I thought, oh, um, we'll give it a go. See how we get on. So first things first. Um, it was fairly cheap, for, so 50 grams for £9.70, which, uh, well nowadays, is very reasonable. So, um, so good so far. So it turns out, on inspection, um, it's fairly sure that I uh, have a, a Virginia blend. Um, and uh, that's ready rubbed, um, and I suppose you could call it uh, probably a shag cut. Um, and it's quite a light mixture um, visually, so you'll see what I mean. I've got some here. I hope you're going to be able to. An impression there. So you can see just about that actually it's reasonably fine and it, there's not a great deal of um, contrasting of um, not a great deal of contrast between sort of light and dark it's fairly sort of light uh, Virginia's. Um, so um, yeah, it doesn't look particularly uh, wonderful, but uh, I thought, well, we'll stick with it. Well, there's one or two bits. When you look closely, there's one or two bits of dark in there. Anyway, so I generally don't like to look at uh, other reviews before I smoke a blend. And uh, and that is the same with this this blend. So uh, as I say, I've had um, two or three bowls, and um, I've been uh, enjoying this um, reasonably well. So the uh, the pouch note um, is rather pleasant. Uh, not particularly strong. Um, quite sweet. Um, sort of a grassy 
Hayish, sort of typical of um, Virginia, um, quite um, uh, reminiscent of a, a sort of a weaker version of um, uh, something like uh, Fall Virginia Flake. Um, Or something like that, along those lines. Um, but uh, fairly pleasant. Fairly obviously not that strong, the smelling. Um, and so uh, it um, packs very well. Um, it's quite a um, an open tobacco, um, quite loose, reasonably um, sort of uh, hydrated. If some people might find it was really slightly dry from the pouch, but actually it's ready to smoke, um, and indeed it lit very well, and is staying alight um, very nicely. So, so taste-wise, not extraordinarily complex by any means but um, fairly smooth, um, definitely fairly sweet. And as expected, um, a very, very basic um, Virginia um, blend with, with um, as I say, nothing very complex at all, very, um, very, very mellow. Um, and actually, um, no hint of tongue bite. Um, doesn't burn too hotly. Um, I am smoking this in a fairly thick walled pipe, um, and I think that would be beneficial um, because it does. It does. It, once it's lit, it stays lit very well. So I'm enjoying this quite a bit. So the reason why this is. Uh, um, somewhat of a surprise. I um, had a little look on uh, on the internet and uh, to see, uh, just out of interest, any reviews. Um, I haven't seen this anywhere. Um, I haven't seen anybody speaking about it much. And um, as it turns out, um, I found a couple of reviews and they really did slate it quite uh, considerably, um, saying it was uh, pretty awful. Um, so um, yes, yeah, not uh, no compliments for taste or um, flavour or, or body or uh, in fact um, very poor reviews, um, which is unfortunate. But I'm glad actually I tried um, this blend before um, I looked at these reviews because I think that's quite important. You have to make your own mind up, and um, I think it's a bit daft to. Um, you know, unless you've tried yourself, because um, be, different people have different um, impressions of flavours and things like that. So, so yes, um, uh, bad reviews um, on uh, a couple of uh, sites I found, and um, but as it goes, I personally find it to be rather pleasant. Um, and it's it's very well behaved in the pipe, um, and for a, I mean this is a budget tobacco, nine pounds seventy as opposed to um, something like Condor um, or um, or St Bruno. I mean you're looking at almost thirteen pounds now um, for fifty grams of, of either of those. So nine pounds seventy. Now um, I think also um, this. Um, Bayside um, mixture. It's it's been um, classed as a um, uh, well. It's been sort of cast out as a as a non-blend in some respects by some of the reviews because um, it's it is quite popular for hand rolling um, cigarettes, and indeed it's a fine cut, and I'm sure it probably is more than suitable for that. Um, so yes, I'm guessing there's a certain amount of dismissing um, due to those reasons, um, which I think is a little unfair. So, 
Um, I'm uh, pleased to find that um, I've uh, tried something new and um, I'm finding it reasonable. Um, and I th as I say, I think um, it's good to try for yourself and not go on uh, other people's um, recommendations all the time. Sometimes it can work out to be just right, but um, um, of course, if you're used to smoking uh, very good quality tobaccos, um, and I've tried many over the years, in a direct comparison, of course, this is going to seem um, fairly boring and it won't um, compare. Um, I mean, I, I've had um, some uh, sort of uh, well branded. Um, tobaccos from all the um, very sort of popular uh, makers and, and actually I personally have found them to be not to my liking um, even though that they have sort of rogue reviews and um, so I think this is just horses for courses just how it goes and um, I think uh, It's a pleasant little, um, a pleasant little blend, um, and uh, it does mention in some of the reviews. Um, the only sort of positive um, thing that came out was that uh, it it would be a good base for blending, um, which I, I fully agree with um, as a as a very very basic Virginia um, uh, blend. You know, you could. Um, Use it for calming down something that was a little bit um, harsh, perhaps, um, or uh, or just um, bulking out something else. Um, it won't. Uh, other than adding um, just a little bit of sweetness, I would imagine. Um, I don't think it would um, detract certainly from any anything else that you might add it to. So. Um, So there we are. Um, as with some cheaper blends, um, you notice um, towards the bottom of the bowl, it does lose a little bit of its. Um, its sweetness and and um, sort of flavouring. I, I don't know whether it is cased or is, whether there's anything in there. Now, I don't detect anything unpleasant. Um, it's just fairly consistent. But uh, the last last little few um, bits in the bottom just become a little bit um, uh, sort of uh, well, not so not so pleasant. Uh, But I can forgive it that, and uh, yes, I'm uh, quite um, quite pleased. So I don't think um, it's not one that I would go out of my way to buy again. But um, well, it would be useful, I think, for me personally as a um, sort of a general smoke that I would have um, if I didn't want to put too much sort of thought into the into the thing you know um, sometimes if you're if I was writing or if I was I don't know doing some jobs or whatever um, it's something I could smoke and it would be pleasant enough to be worth having and um, but uh, not too complex to have to um, to think about too much So I think um, it has its part to play in anybody's um, collection of tobacco. Um, so uh, there we are. That is uh, Bayside Mixture. And uh, there we are. Um, There is uh, 
one other element that may come into it is the fact that um, it is uh, offered more cheaply and um, I think they can do this now um, I believe there's something whereby if, if it is a, a pipe tobacco um, it can be uh, if it's marketed as a pipe of tobacco it, it can be um, sold more cheaply and um, is in fact more of a, a um, hand roll of tobacco um, whether this is true or not I'm not entirely sure but um, this is something else that cropped up in some of the forums um, with other sort of um, over-the-counter blends so I'm talking too much and uh, not smoking enough So I haven't seen this in anywhere else um, other than um, uh, ASDA. Um, so whether it's um, available in a, in a proper tobacconist or not, I'm not entirely sure. So um, there we are. Not very technical, but uh, my... Uh, Basic review on uh, Bayside Ready Rubbed Mixed Blend. So I think we'll leave it there. So as usual, keep the camera rolling, keep the pipes puffing. Cheerio for now.